So the ORIGIN trial is testing a really interesting approach to treating IgA nephropathy. And I'll just bring that the rationale for that. So in IgA nephropathy, there is this protein called IgA that deposits in these fine filters and causes inflammation and scarring. And until recently, we've not had any drugs that are capable of reducing this abnormal IgA and stopping the production of these large aggregates of IgA molecules in the circulation that then deposit in the kidneys. And what the origin study is testing is whether a drug called Atacicept is capable of protecting kidney function. And the way Atacicept works is it targets those cells that are producing the abnormal IgA and therefore stops the deposition of IgA in these fine filters, which in turn will reduce inflammation and scarring. And so the origin study has looked at an, a number of different doses of a, the drug Atacicept compared against a placebo to see what whether we can see early changes for kidney function protection. And this is looking at changes in the level of protein in the urine, because the level of protein in the urine is a good marker of the degree of inflammation and damage that's happening in the kidneys. And so the origin data that we've just seen in, in January shows that this drug, Atacicept, is capable of causing significant reductions in the amount of protein in the urine, telling us that it's reducing the amount of inflammation and damage that's going on in those fine filters in the kidneys. So the data that we've seen already is incredibly encouraging and exciting. We've seen that reduction in proteinuria, but we've also seen when we measure the amount of this abnormal form of IgA, we've seen that this drug is capable of reducing it significantly to a, between 60 and 70%, which is very encouraging. We also importantly have seen that this drug is well tolerated. And actually we're not seeing significant adverse events or problems with safety with this drug. So for me, the next step is we need to continue looking at the data generated from origin to look at more longer term data in terms of what happens to kidney function and what happens to proteinuria over a longer period of time. But I think the data that we've seen is, is, is reassuring and strong enough that we are, well, I can't speak on behalf of Vera Therapeutics, but Vera Therapeutics have very much indicated that they want to commit to running a phase three study. And that phase three study will look at the 150 milligram dose of Atacicept in a study designed to get this drug approved by the drug regulators, the FDA or the European Medicines Agency. So this will be a, the next trial will be the, the really pivotal trial that will get this drug hopefully approved. And that means then our patients will have access to it.